Here we have a 5R55E out of a Ford Ranger. Uh, this vehicle came in with some operational problems, had over 200,000 miles on it. Some of the things that we found for clutch drum right here has a ceiling ring here. The ceiling ring is missing here, which will not allow it to apply properly. This rides on the inside of the center support. If you look, there's a feed orifice right here. That feed orifice, if those rings are not allowing it to seal properly, you can wind up with a neutraling condition. In addition, we have planet carriers. Planet carriers have thrust washer shims. These little shims need to be of the correct thickness. If you look at the shim right here, that shim is paper thin and uh, in, in need of replacement. Uh, you can rebuild the planet or you can just replace it with a remanufactured one. Uh, similar situation with the other planet carrier. In fact, if you look closely, you can see one of the needle bearings right there. That clearance is excessive, so that would need to be replaced. Uh, overdrive planet carrier, a little difficult to see, but inside this planet carrier, there are splines, and those splines themselves get thin, and when those splines get thin, basically the shaft will eventually blow the splines out. So that carrier will need to be replaced as well. Uh, a little tricky to see with the clarity of this camera. Time to upgrade, I guess. But this is the exploded view of the transmission. Uh, this is the, let's see here, we got the reverse band. We got the planet set we were showing, center support right here. And the forward clutch drum right here. And that rides in that center support. And that's what applies for clutch. So, uh, in addition to the normal rebuilding items, this is going to require some gear train components and a for clutch drum. If you have any questions, feel free to call our number 215-855-5123 or visit us at meanintransmission.com.